Can I convince you that this cake is a real life truck? Because that's what I'm gonna try to do in today's video. I've spent over a decade making hyper-realistic cakes and I've pranked millions of people with them. Like when I made this avocado cake and this stack of cups. So I'm ready for this challenge. But there is a problem. All of those cakes were life-size. This cake is going to be a much, much smaller version of a truck. So it's gonna be really hard to include all the details needed to make it look realistic. Can I really convince you guys that an eight inch long cake is really a 20 foot long truck? We're about to find out. My name is Natalie Sidesurf and I make cakes that don't look like cakes. And today I'm gonna make a cake of a truck. Naysayers say this is impossible and they may be right, but I'm gonna try anyway. I really think I have a chance at pulling this off because I have a few tricks up my cake sleeve. Magic, 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 magic. The first being this little toy truck because I'm going to use it to make a mold. Now don't be fooled. While making a mold is definitely gonna be helpful, this cake is still going to be incredibly difficult. Molds definitely don't do all the work for you. Unfortunately, <laughs> you'll see what I mean. This is the most difficult and detailed mold I've ever tried to make. In the past, I've made very simple molds. Things like a smooth cup or a plate. And I still manage to mess those up. <laughs> a lot of things can go wrong. Sometimes I can't get the object out of the mold because it sticks. Sometimes little bubbles form. You can't use a mold with a bunch of bubbles. Sometimes the mold just doesn't pick up all the details. If you don't have the details, what's the point? So I'm trying my best to prep this truck so I get a good clean mold. And as luck would have it, I already have a problem. Typically, I'd use clay to fill the inside of the truck because that's where the cake is gonna go. But I don't have any clay. Because I forgot to buy clay. I'm working with cake. I only have a couple days to get this done. So rather than take a bunch of time to go to the store to buy the clay, I fill filled the truck with modeling chocolate. It's like edible clay. It should work, I think. And now I'm pouring warm, food-safe mold material over the top of the truck. Yes, I did say warm. That means as I let this mold set, that modeling chocolate could possibly melt. Then it would leak out into the mold, you know, ruining the whole thing. All right, the mold is firm. Let's see how it looks. Ah. What's this? Those look like little bubbles of modeling chocolate. It did the thing I said it was gonna do. I really hope this didn't mess up the whole mold. I already spent hours on this. If this mold is all messed up, I'm gonna have to start over and go to the store to buy clay. That's gonna put me so far behind. All right, let's pop this baby out and assess the damage. Fingers crossed. Oh, I see what happened. Right here, it looks like the modeling chocolate leaked out of the bed of the truck. Yep, the bubbles match up perfectly. But I think the mold might still be all right. It doesn't look like the leak affected it. There's only one way to find out. I gotta test the mold. I gotta try it out. It's the only way I'll know if there are any imperfections. So I melted some red chocolate in a bowl and I'm gonna pour it in. If I throw in the towel and give up on this mold altogether, the only other thing that I can think to do is hand sculpt the truck. But to hand sculpt at this small of a size and in a way that is so perfect, it tricks people into thinking it's the real thing. <sighs> That would take me weeks. That's just not an option. All right, let's do this. It's time to pop it out of the mold. Easy does it. And it's not bad. <sighs> what a relief. This version of the truck looks like a bit of a beater. <laughs> it's by no means perfect. There are a lot of cracks and imperfections, but I can work with this. I can definitely work with this. I'm just taking a blade and cleaning this baby up. There are a few rough edges and air bubbles. You'll have that. This is where that chocolate leak happened, but I'm able to smooth it out. I always approach cakes with the mindset that anything can be fixed. There's always a way. You just can't give up on it. Now, I don't know if what I'm about to do is common in the world of chocolate, but I'm going to use a paintbrush to fill in any holes and cracks with chocolate. Then once the chocolate hardens, I can go in with a sculpting tool and shape it and smooth it out. This probably isn't what chocolatiers would consider proper. <laughs> I honestly don't know, but it works for me. I'm a sculptor. I'm very comfortable using sculpting tools. So I figure why not rely on one of my strengths to clean this truck up? Now that I just had that win, I gotta tell you guys something. I have a huge obstacle to overcome that I haven't even mentioned yet. Typically, I place my finished cakes on a table and they look hyper-realistic. It makes sense that an apple or stack of cups would be on a table, but this is a cake of a truck and trucks are almost always outside. Not on tables, definitely not on tables. 
So that means if I want this cake to look as real as possible, I have to place this cake outside. And that's a problem because I live in Austin, Texas. And the next couple days, the forecast is all over the place. It says it's gonna be over 85 degrees and it might even rain. 80 degrees is the temperature that cakes start to get really, really soft. And when the cake is also in the sun, forget it. It'll start to melt really quickly. Last summer, I did a little experiment. I left a boot cake out in the Texas sun for 15 minutes. I really hope that doesn't happen to this truck, but all I can do is worry about that when the time comes. I'm flipping this chocolate shell over so I can fill it with cake. And let me tell you, this thing is fragile. I have to handle it so carefully because if I'm not careful, a piece of chocolate may chip or crack off. And that damage would set me back half a day if it's even possible to repair. This is one of the most fragile cakes I've ever worked on. So now I'm popping out the chocolate undercarriage. Then it's time to place it on the cake and then flip it. Yes, flip it. I have to flip the cake over. I've never flipped a cake like this, so I have no clue how this is gonna go down. I can't think of any other way to do this. I gotta do it, I gotta flip. All right, and a one and a two and a... I got nervous. <laughs> okay, okay, I swear I'm gonna do it this time. I got this, I can do this. One, two, three. Do you wear clothes or know someone who does? Well, get yourself some more by heading over to shop.sidesurfcakes.com. That's where you can get some Sideserf Cake Studio clothes. We also have coffee mugs, stickers, beach towels, all kinds of stuff. I'll put a link below so you don't get lost on your way to the store. And now back to the cake. One, two, three. I did it. I did it, I flipped it. And it looks like nothing bad happened. Both red and black chocolate are still intact. No cracks. Oh, we're good. I did it. Oh, I can't believe I did that. Now that I have the body of the truck in one piece, I'm gonna work on all the smaller details. Things like side view mirrors and tires. I went into this knowing it's gonna be really hard to trick people into believing it's a real life-size truck, but you never know. I might trick a few people. <laughs> if people don't think it's a real truck, you know what I'm hoping for for this cake? I'm hoping people don't think it's a cake, but rather a miniature movie set. <laughs> I would love that. You know what I'm talking about? Like when they used to build miniature scale models for elaborate movie scenes, before CGI became the norm. I love miniature models and puppets in movies. Pretty much everything is CGI nowadays. But think about movies like Jurassic Park, the first one. They did use some CGI, which was fine for the time. But I'd say the best scenes are when the actors are interacting with animatronics. I mean, they made a life-size T-Rex animatronic for Pete's sake. That's insanity. It's so cool. I'd love for this cake to look like a real truck. But if it reads as a miniature prop, I'm cool with that. It's time to paint the accents. For this, I gathered some of the thinnest brushes that I could possibly find. <laughs> this cake is so small. It's only three inches wide. Some of these details are no thicker than a millimeter. I'm holding my breath while I'm painting. <laughs> I lucked out that I didn't have any major disasters while making this cake. It's held together so far, but that doesn't mean I can't mess it up at the last minute. As always, all I can do is try my best. I learned a lot from this cake, which totally makes it worth it, but I still want the cake cutting to go well. Now I'm still gonna cut this cake outside. Taking elaborate cakes like this outdoors is not ideal. Deal. The rain can ruin it, the sun can melt it, I could drop it. It's just not a controlled environment. But I said I was gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. And that's it, the cake is finished. Let's take this baby outside. It's raining. Let's take this baby outside tomorrow. The next day. We're at the park, and I have to set up before I actually put the cake where I'm gonna cut it. So I have some brown sugar and a cake board. Let's go. Really, really hot today, and the sun is super bright. So I think that I'm gonna, um, I think I'm gonna cut it in the shade, just to give myself a little bit less time with the cake in the sun, because it will melt really fast. So I have my location. This is the toy. <laughs> I'm gonna put a cake board down. Obviously, I can't put the cake on the dirt. That would not be good. So I have my cake board. I'm gonna try to cover it up. Ooh. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm really nervous. <laughs> so I have it all set up. I have the camera angle I want. So now I just have to replace the toy truck with the cake truck. So this is the scary part. I'm nervous. Here. Ugh. Don't wanna drop it. Okay. <laughs> I can tell the cake is already starting to melt, so I have to hurry up. Let's cut the cake.
And there you have it, a cake of a truck. I really like it. What do you think? Does it blend in among the real trucks? Let me know what you guys think and subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. I'll see you next week for another cake.